Hi everyone, I'm very excited to have Rick Spaulding here with me. He's the incoming president uh, for SNEMI. Yeah, thanks so much for joining me today, Rick. Well, thank you, Greg. I appreciate the invitation and I really look forward to talking to you a little bit about SNEMI. Um, I'm really excited about this new opportunity. I've been a shipbuilder for 39 years and so I really think I understand that part of the industry, but there's so much more to the industry than just shipbuilding. Of course, there's ship design and ship operations, and then we've got oil exploration and so many different opportunities in SNEMI. Um, you know, we've got membership from around the world. Over 90 uh, countries are represented in SNEMI, and so it's really, really exciting uh, to be part of an organization that has such a diverse a group of individuals, you know, some of the, I would say some of the smartest minds in the industry around the world. So I know you've also been involved with the NSRP in the past, um, and so innovation is kind of at the heart. Yeah, so, so I was chair of uh, the NSRP um, for a period of time. I was on the executive control board for several years, and there is a marriage there. Um, SNEMI um, has a TNR group that includes the, the uh, ship production panel. Ship Production Committee is part of the SNAMI TNR section. And, and I think part of the exciting thing is, is there's a huge marriage there. You've got the technology side of SNAMI that's trying to be at the point of the spear where it makes sense, developing new and emerging technologies, identifying those technologies that may be ready for eventual implementation in either ship construction or ship design or even ship operations. And so there's a great marriage there that we want to keep. You know, we want to keep that relationship there and we'll continue growing that and looking at other new technologies we can help evolve. Yeah, so talk to me a bit about your goals and this new role and what you're ah, looking to. So I appreciate you bringing that up. So SNEMI um, is, a, is a member-run organization. It's all volunteer organization with the exception of the headquarters. Um, over the year, like other organizations, technical organizations and even clubs, we've seen a reduction in membership. Um, my goal is to grow membership. Um, but you got it. You can't grow membership without creating relationships with industry. Again, recreating our, our relationships, uh, showing value to the industry, um, proving to the industry that there is value in being part of SNEMI. And I think that you know, if you can create the relationships and if you could show value, then the membership grows. And so I want I want to grow the membership. I want to bring in more and more people who have a uh, diverse uh, knowledge in the industry and the, in the uh, technology. So. You mentioned the word value. I think that instantly people latch on to that. What's, what are some strategies to bridge the gap between uh, what Valley's Navy can deliver and what shipyards are expecting or the whole industry is expecting? Yeah, of course, it's not just shipyards, but really the value is, you know, when you think that we've got representatives around the world of all different kinds of backgrounds, different kinds of degrees, and it's not just naval architects, it's other kinds of engineers. I think the value comes from um, the collaboration, um, the, the ability to come to an event like um, this uh, workbook conference, where you can meet people from different organizations, different backgrounds, you can learn from each other. And so I think that that's really a big piece of what SNAMI provides in terms of value, because we do have those kind of events and conferences. And then I think the other piece, which is where we want to get to, is the technology. You know, if you've got a technology question that you have, or if you've got some something that you want to develop, you want to talk to some uh, people who might be able to help in the industry, this might, I'm hoping that this would be the organization you come to to get help. So. Talk to me a bit more about those technologies. Maybe you've seen something at the show that's caught your eye or just generally. Yeah, so, you know, to me, offshore wind, is one of the big futures, uh, renewable energy. Uh, we're, we're all looking at that, right? And so batteries, uh, we've, I've talked to several people who are thinking about different kinds of wind platforms. And when you think about wind platforms being offshore, you immediately start thinking about, I need ships to service those, these ships to install them. I need cranes. I need all kinds of capability to get crews back and forth to those, to those, uh, to those sites. And so there's a huge opportunity for naval architects and marine engineers and for other kinds of engineers to develop those technologies and make them so they're cost effective to install. And then at the end of the day, it's harvesting the energy. So as you get further and further offshore, maybe there's a state where you say it's no longer uh, economical to run a cable from a windmill back to, the, back to uh, land. Maybe you store the energy and then you have to harvest the energy and bring it back in. And so 
um, I've seen evidence here of new battery technology, uh, new methods for storing energy and creating energy. And so I think it's exciting. And how can SNEMI help with that? So SNEMI, again, you know, with, with, uh, with the engineers and its membership um, and with its uh, TNR committees, you know, I think that there's opportunities to go and study, uh, you know, what are the requirements, develop the requirements, if you will, for building a fixed uh, wind platform as well as a floating wind platform. Uh, SNEMI is a, uh, a member of BNOW. Um, which is a, uh, a consortium of people who are working on offshore wind. And um, together, there's 45 different organizations work together and they've already developed the first set of documents for a set of rules, if you will, for a fixed platform offshore wind uh, platform. So, you know, I think that that's, those are the kinds of things that SNEMI can do. Yeah. And so if people want to learn more, they've they're interested in what you've said today, how should they find out? So they it? should contact the SNEMI headquarters office or they can get in touch with me or just go to SNEMI headquarters and send a note to us. Tell us what you're interested in. Try to, you know, find out more about us. Ask us, ask us questions and join. Join SNEMI. You can help us uh, be part of this big team. Yeah, I know SSI and SNEMI have had a long relationship. Pat Roberts is, of course, a SNEMI fellow. Uh, and so I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing you as president and seeing what the future holds for SNAMI. Thank you. And I'm looking forward to working with you guys more. Yeah, thanks so much for joining us today. My pleasure.